Hey guys, it's CubeJet here, and today I have an unboxing of the Crystal Ghost Cube. So as you guys can tell from the title, this is indeed the Crystal Ghost Cube. This came from, I want to say Zonedin Puzzles, let me quickly check another sticky note, yeah. Z-O-E-N, oh no sorry, Z-O-N-E-D-E-N Designs. I have a link to where you can buy this down in the description. Now, at first it was only available if you bought uh, a set of four other puzzles, then I contacted him and asked him if he could put it up separately, so we did. So he was kind enough to send this out. I mean, it's not testing, I paid for it at the full price. Anyways, I'm really excited, like I, I can, it doesn't even look like it's in here. Like what's in here? So it's bubble wrap. And then is there a business card or anything? No, there's a styrofoam peanuts. Okay, I'll have a video also uh, of something cool you can do with styrofoam. Basically, you just take like a little bowl and you put some nail polish remover. I'm sure like some of your parents or siblings or if you have a sister or whatever, they might have nail polish remover. Put it in and then just stick the styrofoam in and watch it melt away. It's pretty cool and it's a good way to get rid of it, I guess. Uh, anyways, in the back, I have my glow in the dark, my regular uh, color scheme, green ghost cube, and my void ghost cube. These are my four favorite. My top favorite being the green one. And this one is going to be added to this favorite group of ghost cubes. So, as you guys can probably tell from the name, Crystal Ghost Cube, it's, it's going to be a clear ghost cube. So, this is really cool. So it's wrapped really nicely. Wow, that looks really cool. Just a bit heavier than usual. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw that stuff behind me. Alright, it also seems a bit smaller than usual. That might be just because I'm looking at the void. But... No, it is the same size. Uh, it feels a bit heavier. And it is the same mold that is used for this. I'm not quite sure what, what they use for but... Let's look closely at this. So... You guys can... I guess that's not really transparent, but like you can see through the pieces. Like you can't look through that and look at my finger. But it still looks really cool. Um, I guess let's just do first turns. Wow. Okay. That's a lot better than I was expecting. Very smooth. There's no catching. Yeah, that's pretty good. Corner cutting, not that much, just like you would expect. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and look at the pieces. I usually like to take these long ones out first, because they're kind of easy to grab. The centerpiece looks really cool. That looks like the most clear. So as you guys can see, the core is not clear, as you guys would expect. Now there are the centers, but the little caps that they put on top of it are. So. Here are the pieces, just like you would expect from a normal ghost cube. Looks like something went wrong with the molding here. So I guess something good about this is that uh, there are no stickers. So these small stickers right here, there's uh, quite a few of them on the, the regular ghost cubes that are stickered. You don't have to worry about those falling off at all because there are none. Just like the metallic ones, it's one reason why I like the metallic more. Also, the metallic ones tend to turn smoother than all the stickered ones I've noticed from all the ones or all the ghost cubes I've had. I have had. Uh, so this is turning as smooth as the metallic ones. Maybe th there's just something with the stickered ones. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and scramble this because I love ghost cubes. And then I'm actually going to scramble all of these ghost cubes. Post a picture on my Facebook page. There's this crystal ghost cube scrambled it kind of looks like a bunch of ice cubes like imagine just a thing of water that'd be a cool picture actually have like a glass of water and then just have these pieces in there i'm actually going to post a picture of that on my facebook page you guys will see that on there all right so i'm going to go ahead and solve this and then i will give my last few words on this all right so i'm back and i've actually decided against scrambling those cubes in the back but anyways, I solved this. It did take a little bit longer than usual, which was kind of unusual. 
but uh, it did perform well. It was turning really smoothly. There weren't any lockups, but like a lot of pieces wanted to, like a lot of sides wanted to move. So for example, like on this green one, sometimes I'll be turning this and then like that will happen. Like that side just kind of wants to turn. And then you're like, nope, sorry, you're not going to turn. I want this other layer to turn. But uh, anyways, there's that unboxing from Zonadin Puzzles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not quite sure. But I'll have a link to where you can buy this down in the description. I believe it's 175 Not 100% sure about that. But go ahead and click on the link in the description and see for yourself. There are also quite a few other puzzles on there. They're all very similar. They are both uh, modifications of a cross cube. And uh, I've heard they're pretty fun. I might get one or two. But anyways, there's that unboxing from Zodan and Puzzles. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. This video's question is, out of these five ghost cubes, which one do you think looks the best? I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.